Instagram friends. What are some things you did this week that was pleasing to God? Let's say this cup represents you. It says, I love you because God created us in love. And I'm going to fill my cup with water just to represent how, you know, when we do good things, it fills our buckets, right? I, hopefully you've heard of bucket fillers. So did you pray to God this week? Great. A little bit of water there. Did you help out your parents with chores? I know that's honoring God when you obey your parents. Awesome. And did you spend some quiet time reading the Bible and learning more about God this week? Amazing! So now my cup is filled with pure water. And I could even drink it. Yum. But, you know, just doing good things doesn't always keep us pure. You know, we are born as sinners and when we want to do things our own way. So unfortunately, also Satan tries to tempt us to go against God. So now think about these questions. Did you get into a fight with your brothers or sisters this week? You know, it's okay if you have done it. So I have a bottle of sin. So I'm gonna have to put some sin. Oh no, my water's not so pure anymore. And did you ignore your parents and not listen to them this week? You know, and if you did, that's okay. And did you spend too much time playing video games instead of spending time in worship? You know, we're human and we are sinners, so now look at my water. Do you think I can drink this? Uh-oh, unfortunately not. Now my cup is dirty. The water is ruined and it's not good for anything. It reminds me that sin ruins our lives. Sin it, sins like lying and hurting other people and disrespecting authority or parents are things that many children do. And sometimes you might think that sin isn't ruining your life, that you are getting away with lying, or you might think that um, you're getting away with being mean because, hey, if you apologize, the next day maybe it'll get better. But even if others can't see your sin, it's still there in your life. And sin actually makes you its slave. In Romans 6.20, it says, When you are slaves to sin, you are free from the control of righteousness. Your sin keeps you in its grip, and you can't get away from it on your own because you were born being a slave to sin. Your sin separates you from the holy, perfect God who loves you. You deserve to be separated from Him forever in a place of punishment because of our sin. But, and you know, this seems like a hopeless situation, and you need someone to set you free from being a slave to sin. The only one who can set you free from being a slave to sin is someone who had no sin of his own. Could I set you free from sin? I'm sorry, but no, I can't. Hey, what about Pastor Q? No. Yeah, he couldn't either. Oh, I know. What about Pastor Mimi? I don't think so. Sorry, Pastor Mimi can't save us either. We all have sin on, of our own, so we can't have anyone else set free, um, you know, free us from sin because they also have sin. And we can't free ourselves, but there is someone without any sin who is strong enough to set you free. His name is Jesus. He is God's son, and he lived a perfect life and never sinning once on earth. He suffered, bled, and died on the cross so you could be set free from your sin. Jesus is the only one powerful enough to set you free. <gasps> wow, look at that, my sin is gone. The cross made the water clean again. Jesus is powerful enough to come alive again on the third day after he died. Sin couldn't stop Jesus because Jesus wins. He is alive in heaven and he wants you to know that you can be set free from your sin and belong to God. But now that you have been set free from sin and have become slaves of God, of God, the benefit you reap leads to holiness and the result is eternal life. Living for God is the best because God loves you. He knows what is best for you because He made you. He wants you to know Him and love Him and live for Him. Belonging to God is so much better than being a slave to sin, right? When you believe in Jesus, He sets you free from sin and saves you. Will you believe in Jesus today?